All right, all right, all right. It's time to take a look at the new Season of the Wish Season Pass. We're going to do our full preview. Of course, rank one, you get the Dragon's Breath Exotic Rocket Launcher. And then we have just upgrade materials and stuff, Wish Engrams. You're going to get this shader right here, which is Valor at Dusk. And almost all purple shader there. I don't really exactly see what with the brown and silver in it, but purple shader there for you. And then the usual small XP boost. We got censored finisher that looks pretty cool moving on to the next page we got the usual stuff keys engrams upgrade modules here we have the manifested power transmat effect okay we'll play that one more time for you all right and then we have the scalar potential pulse rifle a 540 rpm it's gonna have keep away and then attrition orbs Dealing sustained damage creates an orb of power. Interesting. I don't think that's necessarily going to be especially good on a pulse rifle, but we'll see. We'll have to test out the new perk. Get that season rank 20 there. Moving on to the next page here. We've got the Nostos here. Vehicle. Spare looks pretty cool. I like that look a lot. And then we have the Apentis Trace Rifle. So this is a Strand Legendary Trace Rifle. Very cool. This one comes with demo and one for all. That's actually a really good roll. So when you do unlock this, make sure to uh, <laughs> don't delete it because that is an excellent roll of a trace rifle for sure. Next up, we're going on to the next page and there's Dragon's Breath if you don't pay for the season pass. Rank 35. The usual stuff here. We've got the shader Dreamweaver. It's got kind of like an aqua teal purple look to it. Nice, nice. Moving on to the next page, we've got the many voiced projection. So it's got ribbon and these little symbols here. Deep sight harmonizer, which you'll want to use to craft some of those weapons, put the red border on them. Then we have the anthemic invocation shell. That looks pretty cool. So the aesthetic kind of fits the entire theme of the season. Moving on to the next page, we're going to look at everything here. And now we're starting to get to some of the armor here. So we've got the Worm Guard Gauntlets. This is what it looked like on the Titan here. It's got some chain mail in it. Very cool. And we've got the Worm Guard Greaves here. That's what they look like. Look very simple, very basic. Pretty clean look to them. Another Deep Sight Harmonizer. You've got your gauntlets here now. Whoa, those look awesome. I like those gauntlets quite a bit. Class center for the Titan. There it is. Okay, make sure I'm not skipping over anything. And going to the next part, we got the boots now. Very cool, very cool. Those look really good. Now moving on to the chest piece. Worm guard chest piece, chest plate. Nice. Now we have the luminous vigil emote here. Okay. It's like we're just chilling with a candle. <laughs> what a simple emote. Interesting. On to the next page, we have the Anthemic Invocation Mark. That looks, I like that one a lot. I like how like, long that mark is. It goes all the way down to your foot. Then we have the Worm Guard Helm. Nice. Moving on to the next page, the final page now. We've got the Anthemic Invocation Plate. Very cool, very Ahamkara-like. Got our Sentinel in there. And then we have the helmet. Yes, love that. Looks really cool. I feel like the Titan Helmet's the best looking one this season, but let me know which one you like the most. And then you're also gonna get the Dragon Summon Emote. Very nice. That's pretty cool. And then we've got the Dying Dream Weapon Ornament. Okay. I like that. And that's it for the Season Pass. Let me know your thoughts. This is going to be for 188 days. No, not 188 days, 20 hours. Oh, God. It's going to be such a long season, but... Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed, smash the like button, and click on the screen here to watch another video from the channel. See you in the next one.
Later.